decked in the flag of the majority religion. The streets of this suburb were filled with Buddhist revivalism on a baking hot afternoon. From near and far, monks and lay people came to hear speeches, nationalistic and racially tinged, that became increasingly hardline as the day progressed. This monk is general secretary of the new organization that called the rally, the Bodhu Bala Sena, or Buddhist Strength Force. He said only monks could save the Sinhalese race. Democracy and pluralism were killing that race. This is even though the Sinhalese are three quarters of the Sri Lankan population. There was rhetoric against minorities, especially against the use of the halal system, whereby Muslims certify which goods are acceptable to consume, a system whose abolition is now being demanded. And rhetoric against what the organization calls Muslim and Christian extremists, including jihadists, who it says pose a threat. We have recently exposed that some of the uh, uh, countries funding uh, Christian fundamentalists as well as Muslim fundamentalists to, their, to do their activities without any control. A key moment in the hardline Buddhist campaign was the storming of a mosque in central Sri Lanka last April. There have been other attacks and demos since then, including a blockade of this Muslim-owned clothing store last month. But Christians too are under fire. Protestant and Catholic clerics and churches have been attacked. And most recently, a statue of the Virgin Mary was torn down in a provincial town. The trend is making some members of minorities feel very uncomfortable. They deny fostering extremism and say the trend of militant Buddhism spells trouble in a country bedeviled by ethnic issues. They accuse the Sinhalese-dominated government of doing little to stop it. The situation is very bad. So any moment, the ethnic rights will start between Sinhalese and Muslims. Now they are, they are, they are now, they are, they have been now working freely. No, nobody is talking about this organization, and the government is not trying to stop their activities. Just after Sunday's Buddhist rally, a hostile mob threatened our BBC team with severe violence. Complying with the mob, the police stopped us driving away until their superior overruled them. The hardline faction has now made more of its views clear. It wants an end not only to halal certification, but also to the building of mosques. And it seeks the expulsion of foreigners promoting their religions. Four years after the army defeated the Tamil Tiger militants, some commentators ask if nationalistic elements here are now looking for new enemies. Charles Haviland, BBC News, Colombo. Atibu arak shaka rakawal notaka sisun ite atulubuna.
എന്നിട്ട് ആ സംവാദക ഉണ്ട് സമുദിയത എന്ന് സാഹച്ചാ പിലിബന്ദ വിശ്വാസേ തബണ്ട് അപിടവശനെ അവർദു തിയാക് ലേ ലേദക ബുജാതിയാ ഖടിയട നവത വതാവക് മേ റട അവാസനാവന്ത അടി അടിയേകട അദദാണ്ട് ഹബൈ മേ മാസെ തിസ്സെക് വെരിദ വെനകോട്ട മേ റടെ ഹലാൽ തിയന്ന ബേ ഹലാൽ ലാഞ്ചര തിയന്ന ബേ ബൊറു വളവൽ അടവല അപിവ മുലാകരണ്ട് തവദുരടത്ത് അപി ഇടതിയാണ്ട് ബേ
මෙවැනි කසාදය කර ගැනීමට සැරසෙන වල් නබියගේ පුතා එනතුරු ගෝනි බිලි බිරිඳ බලා සිටි. ආව ඉන්නේ ආපදෙන්කෝ. අස්සලාමු අලෙකුම්. අලෙකුම් නෙමෙයි. තෝ මහේ කාවකේ වෙන ගන්න මෙමෙ නැතුත් බලාගෙන මං යනවා බුද්ධ ආගමට. නෝ වහපන් ගෑනියේ මේක මගේ නෙමෙයි. බල්ලගේ කැමැත්ත. බලපන් මේක. කියාපන්. ආ जीवे <laughs> इना इना वो चू कमा चू कल का कल रुद्दाला मम्मी अगर इधर भी एको निकालेंगे ना मम्मा अगर किन्हीं चीज़ों का भाई आने मम्मी लोग वही भाई किट्टी को कोम कर रुद्दाला मम्मी आने वाला ना यो वाटे क्या बोल मम्मी कहना क्या बात जा किन्हीं को रुद्दा ले आने मम्मी कहनी मम्मी कहनी एक बार ना ऐसे में पाऊकार दाम आधा ह ऐसे मोब सुमगट इन्हें नाम में नवी